it's me, Miss Shay, the traveling teach. And I'm here to show you about the Purple Putty Tat, uh, a plane that was built, a single engine airplane that was built by Tracy Pillars um, all by herself and completed in 1965. This is actually um, an airplane built by Tracy Pillars. She was an airplane builder and a mechanic, flight instructor, aerobatics champion. They were all titles achieved by her. She built this Smith mini plane. Although she took her first flying lesson at 16, her family responsibilities were extensive and she didn't get her private license until she was in her 30s. By 1960, she had her commercial flight instructor and ground school ratings. Here she is. In 1962, she entered her first powder puff derby, finishing 17th. By that time, she was divorced and she was raising her six children alone, but they had enthusiastic support of her and she actually won first place in the Women's National Aerobatics Championship in a borrowed airplane. Meanwhile, she was building this mini plane in her garage. She flew in the 1965 aerobatics competition and again won first place. By 1976, Tracy had earned her multi-engine helicopter hot air balloon and aircraft power plant mechanic ratings. Unfortunately, a series of car accidents put an end to Tracy's flying, but she continued her interest in flying by writing for aviation magazines and doing artwork. Unfortunately, she passed away from cancer before she could get to Cleveland to see her completely restored airplane, but she was sent pictures over the period of time when it was being restored. The pretty purple putty tat now stands as a memorial to this unique aviator. And here is a picture of her in her plane. And here are her six children. And here she is sharing her love of flying. So you can see underneath, using that mirror, what it looks like underneath the plane. Come around here. So these were actually, it was very common for people to have home-built single engine planes at this time, and you could buy the plans for this model for $25. The first model completed by Smith, the DSA-1, or Darn Small Airplane, was ideal for aerobatic pilots. It was originally designed and built in 1957 by Frank Smith, and then he sold the plans for people. It took four years to build. It has a 17-foot wingspan. It could fly 99 miles per hour. It was completed in 1965. And here's Tracy building it herself. So there you have it, a really cool piece of aviation history at the...